welcome to the seventh lesson in the series on software. In our last lesson, we discussed two types of application software packages. They were off-the-shelf and tailor-made packages. By the end of the lesson, you were also able to identify different types of application packages. I'm sure most of you are familiar with and have used some of these application software packages yourself. In this lesson, we will discuss word processor and spreadsheets and the purpose they serve. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to list common word processing packages, explain the purpose of word processing packages, list common spreadsheet software packages, explain the purpose of spreadsheet packages. I'm sure many of you have typed letters or assignments on a word processor or maybe you have used a spreadsheet like Salai did in a hardware lesson. Today we will explain how and why these applications are useful and how they work. Word processors are one of the most common application programs in use today. It will be difficult to spend even one day in a modern office, university or school without coming into contact with a word processing program. So, most people have had some contact with word processing. Word processors are used to create, edit, format, check and print documents. They even allow you to add graphics and pictures to documents. It's the same as having a pen, paper, typewriter, eraser, dictionary and thesaurus all in one. But why is a word processor necessary? Let's take a look. Pointing out some of the disadvantages of typewriters can best show the advantages of word processing programs. When you use a typewriter to create a document, you have to press keys on the typewriter. This instantly produces the letters by hitting the paper through an ink ribbon, like this. As you can see, the letters are instantly pressed onto the paper through the ink ribbon. Therefore, the only way to correct a mistake would be to use correction tape. If your mistake involves more than one character, it's much harder to fix. If you want to add a word, move a paragraph or change the margins, you have to completely retype the page. Sometimes this might mean making changes on other pages as well. A one word change could lead to retyping an entire document. Word processing packages on the other hand are application software packages that have been designed to allow you to type and make changes to documents easily. Most word processing programs share a few basic features. They usually use most of the screen for the text that you are editing or typing. Most word processing programs also contain a menu of options for you to edit, modify and professionally format your document. Many word processors also have graphic toolbars with icons representing the most commonly used commands. For example, saving and printing. Almost all word processing programs have a scroll bar to allow the user to scroll up, down and horizontally across a document. All word processors also have a cursor, which is usually a small box or line which looks something like this. This cursor shows the user the place in the document he or she is currently typing. Many different word processors are available as off-the-shelf software. Probably one of the most popular is Microsoft Word. However, other word processing packages like WordPerfect and PC Write are also popular options. Another useful application package is Spreadsheets. Any task that involves calculations can be handled very effectively using a spreadsheet. Spreadsheet application packages were designed to perform complicated numerical calculations rapidly and accurately. Spreadsheets were invented in the 1970s as tools for business calculations. Actually, they were mainly used for financial calculations. Spreadsheets also provide tools that assist in understanding the relationship between numerical data, such as the relationship between cost and profit. 
A spreadsheet consists of a grid of cells made up of a series of rows and columns. Do you see where the two intersect? This is called a cell. Each cell can hold text, numbers or numerical formulas. When you use formulas and you change the content of a cell, any other cell using that content is automatically altered as well. This enables the user to see the impact of any changes he or she has made immediately. Examples of spreadsheet packages are Microsoft Excel, Quattro Pro and Lotus 1, 2, 3. Now that we have looked at two popular categories of application software, let's look at how these software packages can influence the results of some work that has been produced. First, have a look at this document that was typed on the typewriter. Now let's look at that same document typed on a word processor. As you can see, the document looks very different. For example, with a word processor, you can have different font styles. A font is a design that is applied to characters. This font is called Times New Roman and its size is 12 points. I can increase the font size or change the font style by simply clicking on these icons you see here. Formatting the document is extremely easy. So making a heading bold, underlining a word or adding graphics or tables is simply done by clicking on the correct icon or selecting the correct option from the menu. Now, let's look at the benefits of using a spreadsheet package. Without spreadsheets, the only way to manipulate figures would be to use a calculator. Let's say I have a table of all my maths marks for the term. I can quickly add up totals and calculate my average mark. I can also see my marks in a graph using chart options. Let's have a look at how this is done. Here are all my marks in a spreadsheet. Once they've been added, I need to create a bar graph of the results. Creating a graph without using a spreadsheet will be extremely difficult and time consuming. Now that we have completed the graph, Let's pretend that three of these figures have changed. The only way to make this correction will be to use correction fluid. I will also have to recalculate all the figures and then create the graph again. Let's look at the same exercise using a spreadsheet. Firstly, we would type the figures into the cells. Now we need to create the graph. We click on the graph icon, which is this one over here. For the purpose of this exercise, we will just select all the default settings. And here is our graph. Now let's have a look at what happens when the same figures that changed in our manual example change in the spreadsheet. As you can see, not only have all the calculations changed, but the graph has also changed to reflect the new figures. Both spreadsheets and word processing packages are common application packages used in schools as well as businesses today. Graphic packages are also steadily becoming more popular and allow students and employees to branch into many new and exciting career opportunities using graphics. Well, that's all we have time for today. Now for your task. Do some research and find at least two different spreadsheet packages. List the differences and similarities between these packages. Write down the purpose that word processes and spreadsheets serve. Thank you once again for joining us and don't forget to visit our website for more information. Till next time, goodbye.